Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another cool networking video. So today I will tell you how to do initial basic configuration of a Cisco router. But not only that, I will tell you some real world concepts that you have to do in real world networking scenarios. For example, along with the configuration, I will also tell you how to install a WAN interface card or WIC card on a router. So this video is not about the boring configurations. Along with the configurations, I will show you some cool tricks and tips that will really entertain you. So this video is about infotainment. You will get lots of cool informations along with some entertainment. So the concept which I will show you in this video will be really helpful for you in your networking job. So let's start the video. So here you can see two routers are there. This is router 1 and this is router 2. So both are 1841 routers and they are connected using a WAN link or wide area network. So generally routers are used for long distance communications which stands for wide area network. Now on the router 1 there are two switches that are connected and in two switches there are two networks. So in the switch 2 there, are, there is the network 192.168.1.0 and in switch 0 there is a network 192.168.1.32 so there are two LANs connected to this router router 1 and 1 WAN interface similarly in router 2 there are two LANs and one WAN connection so I will tell you how to install this router 1 from the scratch so for that I have to delete this router 1 so that I can show you from the very beginning. So let's install another 1841 router here. So the router is installed. Now let me start with the physical overview of the router. So let's open it and click on zoom in. So this is the back view of the router. So router is basically a flexible computer you can say just like your desktop computer without any display or interface. It just does the basic computing jobs such as routing. So here on the back of router you have one slot, slot 1 for inserting interface cards. Interface cards are just like uh, graphics card or sound cards on your desktop. So you basically install a sound card for sound related work in your desktop. Similarly you insert a card on router to do that kind of work. For example if I want to use my router for wide area network connection then I will use a WIC card or WAN interface card. Next to the slot 1, we have one USB port for data copying and data backup. Next, in yellow, you have faster than a 0 slash 1 and below that, we have faster than a 0 slash 0. So, they are two fast Ethernet ports. Fast Ethernet means 100 Mbps ports. If you connect any device to it, so they are capable of working in 100 Mbps speed. Now next to that there is a blue color port written console. So this is the port where you will connect your console cable for troubleshooting and configuring the router. Console is to use for configuring the router. Next port is aux or auxiliary port. This is used for auxiliary operations. Next you have another slot, slot 0. So you have basically two slots for connecting two cards in this router. And next to that you have a power switch which is right now green means the router is on. You can turn it off, turn the router off by this switch. Again turn it in on and here is the model Cisco 1841. Next to that there is a power cable to give power to the router. So this was the physical overview. Next after getting a router first you insert the power cable and turn the router on. After that, connect a console cable to the console port of the router and connect the other end of the console cable to your desktop PC's communication port 1 or COM port 1. If you are using a laptop, then you need to use a serial to USB adapter because laptops don't have the COM port. To know more about this, please watch my another video on network cabling. So you know two fast Ethernet ports are used for LAN connectivity or you can use one port for LAN and another for 
WAN connection. But here we have two LAN to be connected to this router. So you have to use the two LAN ports or two fast Ethernet ports. So two ports are captured. Then we need another port for connecting the WAN link between the routers. So we don't have any spare port. In that case, we have to insert a card for WAN connection. So let's insert a card. Here you can see the card is there. So description is given. The WIC 2T is a Cisco 2 port serial high speed WAN interface card providing two serial ports. So let's connect the 2T card to the slot number one. So just drag and drop it, but it will not work because the router is powered on. Any card should not be inserted or removed from router while the router is powered on. So first power up the router by switch and drag and drop the card. So the card is inserted there. You can turn the router back on. Now let's minimize it. So now the router is powered on. Let's connect the LAN devices with the router's LAN ports. So for connecting switch to a router, we need to use straight cabling. So to choose straight cabling from below, click on switch, connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 of the router. There is not any specific tool that you have to connect one to one port. But as I know my configuration, this will guide me which LAN port to connect where. For example, here you can see this switch has a network 192.168.1.0. Okay, that means the one network. So from my configuration, in fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, the IP address is 192.168.1.1. That means the 1.1 network must be connected to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Okay. Next, this fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 will be connected to the network 192.168.1.33. And here is the 1.32 network. So this need to be connected to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port of the router. So let's connect it using straight cabling, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and first port of the switch. Next, you have to connect the WAN interface. For that, from here choose the serial DC or DT. Connect to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 0 port and connect to the 0 slash 0 slash 0 port. How can I know that? Here again refer to the configuration interface 0 slash 1 slash 0 should be connected to the network 192.168.1.73. So here 1.72 network is there and it must be connected to the 0 slash 1 slash 0. So friends this is the end of the part 1 of the video. I will continue my discussion in the part 2 of this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching, see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing.